tell you proud of your history. I can tell you not proud of your history. Cuz, look who you hanging with the enemy. How you say you proud of your history and you hanging with the enemy? Did that make sense? Don't he humble himself. Don't he humble himself. Isn't that what Dylan Roof did? He humbled himself. That's how he got in the church. We, they seen God. But guess what? He had a black friend. If he had a black friend, why are we still gonna shoot up a church of full of black people? That's the hatred they have for us, man. That's what we're trying to show you. They're your friends today, but tomorrow they going they, that wickedness will come out. In order for you to be proud of your history, you gotta get away from them. God said to separate from them. You're better than them. Hey, this is the truth. That's what take my time to read it. It's real interesting. They got a lot of truth in here. And if y'all read it, y'all find out what's going on in the world today. I stop for this anytime. I love my black men. I love my black men, honestly. I put my shit in park behind this. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. We're here for the Black Bike Week Festival. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's yeah. a better example. We on your street every day, day. But your past go trip like a vacay. Stutter run, let it hit. I say, wait. I got pain they can see in my face. You can wait. I'm pay for them gates. Drop a pants at time and a place. We gon' roll up a duck like skates. We gon' take you no need for a mate. Bobble up fish and I'm hungry. No switching up. Hit a script, not a split phone. I'm blowing up. I can't lose to the spirits. I'm showing up. Growing the spirit, but they say I'm growing up. Super young, but the That's beautiful what you guys are doing. You guys are great. Amen. You feel as though us as a nation, you feel that we are a family. That's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then so how do you feel as though we're a family? What makes what makes us a family? Because I, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying to you is that you say you're proud of your history. I can tell you not proud of your history. Because look who you hanging with the enemy. How you say you're proud of your history and you hanging with the enemy? Did that make sense? That's what we've been showing you the whole time. They the ones that put us in the situation we in. You understand? Give me uh, Sirach 12 and 10. Sirach 12 and 10 real quick. The brother said he, he's proud of his history, but you're still hanging out with the very people that destroyed our history. There's a confusion there. There's a contradiction there. Do you believe that? If you're proud of your history, you're going to stand up for your history. You understand? That's what we're doing. Read that. Sirach chapter 12 verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. See, the Bible saying never trust your enemy. Who's your enemy? The white. Huh? The white. Who? The white. The white who? The white people. That's your enemy. That's who God is calling your enemy. God, read it again. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust your enemy. If they were your friends, they would tell you who you are. They would tell you who you are. Why they ain't tell us who we are? Come on. Our history been destroyed from man. Right. Time immoral. Right. Our history been destroyed. Right. Right. They know who we are. Right. For example, there was a woman, uh, the TikTok video, and it's when we our nationality kept changing. It went from black, no, it went from Negro to colored to black, and then 1985 it went to African American. And the woman, she worked in I think a Coca-Cola factory. And she said, uh, somebody came to her and said, yo, y'all African-Americans today. And the, you know, uh, uh, the so-called white woman said, yo, they don't know who they are. But she wouldn't tell them. She's not going to bring it out. She's going to keep us dumbed down. Right. That's what we're trying to show you. You hanging out with them, they know who you are, but you don't know who you are. Right. As long as you call yourself African American, they happy. As long as you call yourself an African American, they happy with that. Right. As soon as you say you're an Israelite, they ain't gonna, they're not gonna be your friends no more. They're trying to be your enemies. Why? Because now you're starting to know the truth. Right. You understand? Read it. Read on. Never trust thine enemy. Uh -huh. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Hey, he your friend now, but later on, he start to his wickedness will start to come out. That's right. It's gonna come out. Right. As soon as you make them mad, that wickedness will come out. They can't hide it. They cannot hide it. That's what the Bible's saying. Read it again. Oh, snap. <laughs> you know Dylan Roof? You don't know Dylan Roof? Dylan Roof went to a black church and he shot that church up. He shot nine people and killed them. Nine of the people in that room did lose their lives that night.
killed by a man they welcomed with open arms into their Bible study. Just two days after the massacre, the nation marveled when family members victims, of the victims, including no, Felicia Sanders, offered their forgiveness to Dylan Roof. That's the Bible you had? Yeah, it's Vlad singing. This is the Vlad. This is the Vlad. It was faith that brought these two women to the Mother Emanuel AME Church that fateful night in June. And it is now faith sustaining them after witnessing such horror at the hands of 21-year-old Dylan Roof, who turned on them, prosecutors say, driven by racist hatred. We were just about to say the prayer to be released. And he caught us with our eyes closed. I never told nobody this. Eyes we were had closed. our eyes closed. The shots rang out. I heard every shot. I heard every single shot. Before leaving the Bible study room, the shooter stopped right in front of Polly Shepard, who was hiding under a table. When he got to me, he could hear me praying. And he said, shut up. Did I shoot you yet? And I said, no. And he said, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave you here to tell a story. But guess what? He had a black friend. Right. If he had a black friend, why are we still going to shoot up a church full of black people? Come on, Art. That's the hatred they have for us, man. That's what we're trying to show you. They're your friend today, but tomorrow they're going to, that wickedness will come out. In order for you to be proud of your history, you got to get away from them. God said to separate from them. You're better than them. You understand? Do you believe that? You say you're proud of your history. Do you believe you're better than them? As a black, as an Israelite man, you know you're an Israelite man now. Do you believe you're above them? You sure? Yeah. Like you fighting. Do you believe that? Yeah. All right, read on. We're going to show you. Yes, sir. Verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Mm -hmm. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Read. Though he humble himself. Though he humble himself. Right? Go ahead. And go crouching. Yeah, isn't that what Dylan Roof did? He humbled himself. That's how he got in the church. That's right. We, they seen God. Right. <laughs> they seen God say, come on in. He humbled himself. Read. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Take good heed. The Bible, this is God speaking. Take good heed and beware of them. Read. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. Because why? You're going to see the evil. Now, this happened to us throughout history. You know we ruled the earth at one time, right? Do you know that? We ruled the earth during the dark ages. Right? Right? 1453, we ruled the earth for nearly a thousand years. 1453, they came back into power. The so-called white man came back into power. 1453, called the Renaissance. You know about that? You don't know about the Renaissance? I'm right now. Okay. 1453, y'all came back into power, right? What happened? How they got into power? They overthrew us. You know how they overthrew us? We kept them close to us. We kept them on our hip. We love them because we always have compassion for our enemies. We keep that compassion for our enemies, but we hate each other. But when it comes to the other nations, we have a, a special compassion for them. To the point that they could do whatever they want to us and we'll say, oh, we forgive them. But God say, no, never trust your enemy. You understand that? So the way they conquered us is the way that you, the way you chilling with him, that's how they conquered us. That's how they destroyed our history. You, do you understand that? That's how they was able to gain power. That's how they still ruling right now. You understand? Because we still believe that they are, are better than us and we still keep them on our, we still like uh, uh, have a certain affinity with them. Okay? But God said to separate from them. All right? Read on. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Because his evil is there. It, it may not have came out with, with y'all chilling, but his evil is there. Right. That's what happened to um, Othello. That's what happened to all of our great, our great men throughout history. We put the other.
other nations next to us and they sat now, they was waiting, they was plotting against us so they can overthrow us. That's why we're on the bottom now. Because we broke, well, ultimately because we broke God's laws. But the enemy, God let the enemy come and overthrow us. Because we broke his laws. You understand? Right. Read. He stand up in thy place. God is letting you know who you chilling with. God is giving you the blueprint of who you chilling with. He's telling you they spirit. Right now, you look at his flesh. You look at the outside of him. You like, nah, that's my man. That's my boy. We, we chill. We smoke. We do what we do. God is letting you know the inner thoughts of that man. Read. He stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. You see that? Don't let him sit at your right hand. Don't be chilling with them, man. We telling you something, bro. That's why we in the situation we in. Read. Let him let neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. See that? Lest he seek to take our seat. They took our seat already. 1453, that happened to us. They conquered us. They enslaved us. Now God said you do what? Serve your enemies. That's right. That's who you serve. Right? There's more? Read. And thou at the last, remember my words. You see that? God said the last, remember my words. Right. What we tell you today, remember that. Right. Read. And be pricked therewith. And be pricked therewith, all right? Keep it in your mind. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me show you better than him. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. We probably read this already, but we're going to read it again. Read it. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. What it means to be holy? Okay, all right. Holy means to separate yourself, right? That's what holy means. Give me, um, you know what I want? No, give me um, Romans. Romans 7 and 12, what it means to be holy. Read that. Let me show you what it means to be holy real quick. We're going to take it, we're going to take it easy. Read. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Bring it up. Wherefore, the law is holy. God's laws is what makes us holy, right? Go ahead. And the commandments holy. And his commandments read. And just and good. So that's what it means to be holy. When you start keeping God's law, that's what makes us holy. Right? Now go back. Read on. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. God says, the black and Hispanic man, we are a holy people to God. No other nation is holy but us. God separated us from them so that we'll be holy unto him. That's right. Read. That's how special you are. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God. We the only ones that have a true God. Right. On the earth. Right. right. You understand? We the only ones with the true God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself. See how special you are? God chose you to be special unto That's himself. Right. Right. You understand? We over those other nations. We better than them. That's right. We the top of the, we the, look, we the top of the totem pole. Right. You understand? It don't look like that now because we broke God's laws. Right. But that's what we telling you now. That's why we out here teaching our people to get them. We want to get back to that top, the top level that we was at. That's what we want. We want to rule again like we once did. You understand? Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above. A what? Above what? Above. A what? On. Above. Come on. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Bro, that's how that's how bad. Look, listen, we above everybody on this planet. You gotta believe that. You say you're proud of your history. That's why we proud of our history. We know now that Christ is black. The prophet was black. King Solomon, black man, King David. How you doing, brother? Where you going? Where you going? I'm going to my purpose. Yeah, you know Christ is, you're going to your purpose? This is your purpose. My purpose down the road. You know Christ is a black man according to the Bible? Huh? How you know that? Read that again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, so we're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God, God only knew us as a people. Give me Amos 3. God only knew us out of every nation upon the earth, bro. You understand that? Watch this. Amos, three and one. Yep. Amos chapter 3 verse 1 Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you O children of Israel so Now you know you're Israelite according to the Bible We are the children of Israel Read Against the whole family 
which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God only dealt with blacks and Hispanics and natives. That's it. We the only family on the earth, of all the nation, God only dealt with us. Hence the reason why we in the conditions we in. We broke his laws. He only gave those laws to us. That's why we in the ghettos now. That's why we in the slums. That's why we, we can't get uh, good jobs out here. It's hard for us to prosper because we keep breaking God's law to this day. And guess what? We keep chilling with the enemy. We keep chilling with the enemy. God ain't gonna prosper that. We gotta, we gotta separate ourselves. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You see that? That's where we at. You know what iniquity mean? What is sin? What is sin? Against what? Is it? Uh huh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay. Tell me, sin, is it good or bad? It's bad, right? Watch this. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's laws. God's laws are found in this Bible. They've been reading it to you all this time. This is what God's laws at. The Sabbath day. Brothers bring out the Sabbath day to you. That's one of God's laws. The uh, fringes on your shirt, that's one of God's laws. You understand? But guess what? Our people, as a nation, we continue to break those laws. And the beard, you gotta keep your beard. You, can you grow a full beard? Yeah, get, get him that. Then I'm gonna let the next teacher come up. Read. Leviticus 21 verse five. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So we're not allowed to shave off the corners of our beard. These are the corners of your beard right here. All right, I know that's a style, it's like a standard a beauty or whatever to have this little piece a little tough right here but no god say we need our full beard you see the brothers around here they got big beards man that's a that's a, a, a badge of manly dignity you understand that so you know we that's how we know you a man you got your beard okay forget with the women or whatever they may think oh i like it like you know they like it uh what they women like it clean or whatever the gold cheese whatever no god said grow your beard all right you see a lion a lion how you know the female lion from the male lion what he got he got the main the beard you understand read it again they shall not make baldness upon their head neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard nor make any cuttings in their flesh that mean? But that's going into neither make any cuttings in your flesh what is that what's that talking about read it again they shall not make baldness upon their head neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard nor make any cuttings in their flesh what's making cuttings in your flesh what's that no literally making a cutting in your flesh what is that going into tattoos Oh, okay. Tattoos, that's making cuttings in your flesh. You understand? We're not to do that either. All right? So that's called repentance. These brothers you are saying, sis, we are the gods of this earth. And God sent us out here to restore the decay of state of our people. Read what you got. Songs. Chapter 82 in verse 6. I have said, Christ said, said, we, ye are God. We are what? God. We are not brethren of men, sis. When we come back to this Bible, we are God. It's one thing to know Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. But I didn't know God didn't care about no other race on the planet but mine. Nation is 
unity. Nation 